The Legacy Experience has been brought to you in part by Sage, Cortland, Islander Precision Fly Reels, Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. Covering inshore saltwater bucktailing strategies for Chinook by pre-searching during extreme low tides the leading points, structure, pinnacles, kelp that reveal the key holding and feeding locations of big Chinook during tide pushes. What you got there, mister? I think this is a nice warm-up fish. We're looking for Chinooks in the kelp and one of the <laughs> beautiful Whoa. things about that is that you're gonna get some beautiful northern coho at the same time. I'm fishing with a good friend, Justin Giger, and uh, we're going to take bucktails and we're gonna pursue Chinook in all these kelp and leading points. We've got some, we took some time and looked at this area on extreme low tides. So we know exactly what little volcanic pinnacles and little hiding spots for these fish. So we're, we've got these bucktails, which are going to be, and this is exactly the size and color that you want to use. Black over silver. I'll bring that to camera. This one's been smashed a bit. 15 pound suffix Invisalign leader on that. The Cortland 225 grains. And uh, we're going to be as tight as we can to the kelp. We're using these beautiful 17 foot scouts. And uh, our base location today is out of um, Legacy Lodge in the Darby Channel. And we're about a, would you say a 30 minute run here to Calvert Island? Ah, uh, yeah, it was about that. Definitely flat, calm seas. About 30 minutes. And we're gonna target all of these leading points that you can see behind all the kelp filled bays. But keep in mind that structure we know is under there where those big fish can wait in the current on one tide as it's passing over the rock. The hydrology of the water pushes it. They hide behind it. The bait flows and we're targeting the big wild fish here. And this is one of the best spots in the world in the Great Bear Rainforest to target these big wild fish. Ooh, look at that. Right there. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh yeah, right out of the kelp. It's amazing how tight you can run to that kelp. Those flies were no more than seven feet from that kelp. If that. <laughs> Not a bad bycatch when we're looking for Chinook. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Sweet. No, I can play these beautiful northerns all day. Oh, man, for sure. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's wrapped up in the line. He's not behaving himself, Mark. That black over silver has been just red hot. Oh, wow. Come on, baby. Where are you? Where are you? Give me that fly. Give me that. There you there go. go. Take it off. Go make some babies. And I'm with Justin Yeager. We fished about uh, 16 years <laughs> all over the north and we're in Rivers Inlet today and we're bucktailing for Chinook. You got a nice fish on there, mister. Oh. We're just fishing these big bait fish patterns right tight to the kelp. A lot of these big fish are just up against on the lee side of the current, and we're bringing the bait with the current. I'm fishing eight weight fly rods here, Cortland 225 grain line. 
And the majority of fish that you get doing this while you're chasing big monster fish. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I can see the chrome. <laughs> Our coho, but in the mix are some of these huge, big, wild fish that come from this area. This is uh, an area the size, double the size of Banff National Park. It's the Great Bear Rainforest. And all the big, wild rivers are still intact here. Oh, my goodness. How long are we into this for now, Boat? You're cutting into my fishing time, Mr. I, I'm Hamilton. sorry, Justin, I'm sorry. I didn't come all the way up here to watch you catch big Chinook. <laughs> I'm afraid you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> Guess I have to suffer. Wow, that's there a tank. Is. Leader's poking out. Oh, oh boy. yeah. What have we gotten into here? Got a monster fish. Is this why they call them smileys? I think the magic belly rub's gonna work in this one, Mark. Oh, what a tanker. That's a tie. Guaranteed. That'd be if it's not, it's awful close. Yeah. That could very well be done. That's a sweet fish. Come on, big fella. <clears throat> wow. Just doesn't want to quit. Big. <laughs> when I fish with Justin, it's always big fish. I don't know what the heck. True story, man. They always. <laughs> At least out the other side. Oh, well, I had a good look at him. This is a big fish. He's coming up off the back. This, this totally sucks, man. I really don't like yeah, being I'm here. I'm sorry I brought you out here for this. Oh, yeah. And we got fish jumping out here and whales cresting over there and coal being caught over here. And there's no other boats. Oh, yeah, sweet. When you catch fish this big, the only question is, who gets to pick it up? And that'll be Mr. Giger. This guy? This guy. <laughs> Great. No pressure. What a monster. Whoa. Bucktailing for Chinook. Amazing. What, 10 feet of water? 10 feet of water. Perfect weather, Mark. Man. <laughs> I can't guarantee the weather, but I'll tell you what. It's not this, cold. No, this place, there's some footage that we shot of this area in extreme low tide. And it had unbelievable underwater rock formations and crazy S patterns. And every time the tide is pushing, we've systematically moved the boat. The fish are always against the current and the bait can flow past these structures and kelp beds. I can't believe the power of these fish. No doubt. He just does not want to quit. We're already 20, 30 minutes into this now. Every yeah, time I he think seems so. he's given up the ghost, he just puts his head down and back down he goes again. There's the leader. We got 15 pound suffix fluorocarbon Invisalign tip it on here. I'm not too worried about that. All right. Keep your head up, buddy. Keep your head up. Uh, and down he goes again. We do call these miracle fish, right? <laughs> yeah, man, totally. Oh. Rainy day bucktailing for Chinook. There he is, right out there. Ho, ho, ho. Sweet. That's a good one. We'll see if this four piece will take this pressure. 
Surprise the eight-way talon, that big fish, man. Ah, this is a hog. There's two strains that makes rivers inlet. One of the most famous places in the world to get big 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, up to 70 because it still has the wild river systems. One is the Wanak River system. Ooh, there we go. Oh, 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 good oh, Lord, oh, oh, that's not a Chinook, it's a whale. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> what the, what the Unreal. fish does that? Hey, hello. After 30 minutes later, two feet out of the water. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> what the, what the, what the fish does that? Hey, hello. After 30 minutes later, two feet out of the water. So we were talking about these wild strains. That's what you get with wild fish. I've never done a show with one fish before, but I think we might. It's eating enough time. All right. Okay, you know what you got here? This is a 40. It just might be, man. It just might you be. You see the back? He's wide. He's not as long, but he's deep and wide. Oh, it's nice the rain's held off a little. Yeah, there, totally. There's no way this could be any less than 40. It, it, you got me. He's got a big tail on him. <laughs> that was a wicked jump. And down he goes again. So as I was saying, there's that these areas here are still, this is the Great Bear Rainforest, and it's a, I don't know how many exactly how big is it, but it's about 200 miles of intact watersheds that haven't been destroyed through urbanization and industry. And so all these wild fish, and in particular, there's a few systems, the, the Cabela and the Wanak fish here that grow to massive large sizes. And I well, think that's a big that's, fish. You convinced me. I have never seen a Chinook do that. Yeah, that's wild, man. Especially after that long of a fight. But we've caught plenty. How, how are you gonna pick this up? I don't know. I'll <laughs> figure it out when, when he actually allows me to try. Bucktailing for Chinook. <clears throat> And what we're doing is we're just um, taking these flies and we have our entire fly line out. Justin and I have exactly the same amount of fly line out. The whole Cortland 225 grain, we've left one wrap on the reel and we have them both out in unison and keeping them exactly the same. So the fish, when they see those two bait fish patterns, they compete for them. They, it's, it's not unusual to see more than, you know, it, it's much more normal to see a couple of bait fish rather than just one and these big fish are super smart yeah totally had its worked this thing's a missile <laughs> how's your arm feeling it is awesome <laughs> you know what i mean it is unbelievable good luck giger yeah man when it comes to you and fishing, man, you've guided me into some of the biggest fish I've ever, ever brought to hand. Yeah, we've had it. We've had our good luck, Mark. There's no doubt about it. He's going to be right by us here. Ooh. Close, man. 40 for sure. Yeah, he could be. There's definitely a possibility there. Oh, he's so thick, man. Yeah, he is. You know what we'll do here? It's gonna be tough getting my hand around his tail. I am going to, yeah, the caudal of the tail. The caudal peduncle? Is that what you call it? The caudal peduncle? Apparently. The peduncle? The caudal peduncle. You're gonna throw out words like that? Yeah, don't get used to it. Oh God, I'm gonna have to take the responsibility of picking that up because uh, that's a flipping hog. It's not very scientific, is it? Flipping <laughs> hog. Flipping hog, yeah. Oh. Now, strategy, I'll probably pass you the rod. Whatever you want, Captain. Well, Good. do you think you can lift a fish that big up? Oh, hell yeah. Done it before. 
Now this is a special fish. You're a madman, Geiger. Fly rods, Legacy Lodge. It's a special fish. However, if you want all the pressure, but I don't know if I want to touch your rod. I know, this is the unbelievable I... trade-off. Mm -hmm. We're at a stalemate here. What do you do? Let's just get the fish in the boat. That's what we're going to do. Now this is a big wild fish. Right off the bat, we're going to let this fish go. Oh, he's all 40 all day long. You know why? Look at his back. Oh, he's huge. Were you trying to pet him? Yep. <laughs> he's a landed fish. I touched him. Was that the well, law on that? That's the law. We could have netted him right there, but we don't want to do that and hurt him, right? So, doesn't know what to do with the tarpon. Once you touch that leader, it's a landed fish. I actually touched his tail. That's caught fish. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay. When we come back, we're going to attempt to show you probably one of the largest Chinook I've ever hooked on bucktails and fly rod <laughs> with Mr. Justin Geiger. Sweet up in Rivers Inlet. Oh, there's a St. Tail. Well, if you're just joining us, we are bucktailing for Chinook inside of Rivers Inlet in Calvert Island, putting anchovy-sized bucktails through a Receding tide. <laughs> you getting tired? Sounds like you're losing your breath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are. There's the end of the, the Cortland 225 grain. One of the greatest fly lines I've used for 18 years. You no, know, we've caught a ton of fish on those, man. Just great river line, great ocean fly casting line. Mark, maybe? Whoa. Oh. Ah! Geiger, <laughs> you didn't just pick that up. You crazy man. <laughs> ah, just a little fish. Look how blooming deep that is. <laughs> Bring that fish to camera. Show that big wild monster fish. There we go. You get the chance to come up to Rivers Inlet. It's a beautiful, majestic wild fish that have to be released, or should be, in the 40s. Look how deep the back is in. Point that that's fish huge. to the camera and show the deepness of the back. That's huge. Yeah, that's yeah, a 40. 40 pounds. Let's let that beauty go. Get to go make some babies. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's a 40 all day long, oh, yeah. man. He's about ready. There he goes, man. Back down to the deep. Well, 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 Mr. Geiger. <laughs> well, well, well. As we fish again, Whew. that was unbelievable. No pressure there, eh? No, none at all. <sighs> While we're here, I've just got to get that bucktail and show the viewers yeah, what for sure we use. Yeah, I cannot believe you could pick up a 40 plus like that. The back on that thing was like that. <laughs> and as you know, as those fish get really big, they don't get much longer. They get deeper, deep. deep yeah, wide. I just, I got lucky. I got a good grip on his tail. Yeah. When he first, when you, as soon as you took a step back, he came right up and I was able to get a good solid grip on him. And a lot of times I find if you can get a solid grip right out of the, right out of the gate, yeah. they just, they stop moving. Yeah. I like a coho, you squeeze their tail and out they go. go but on. a schnook, once you get them one, one good time, they'll settle down for us. And hopefully I didn't crush my cell phone in my pocket here. And Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, we, we've got video of it though. Yeah, we'll be okay. okay. <laughs> we can get high tech later. That is the bucktail that I've fished the last 15 years from Zayas Island, the uh, black over silver with a flash tail, with a tandem, Gamagatsu on there, one aught black octopus. This is suffix 15 pound Invisalign leader material, and absolutely nowhere on that. And we've got 
Cortland 225 grains on here, 24 foot head. We have the whole line out and we're just dragging it as tight as we can at kelp and that underwater structure that we talked about, making sure all those fish, if you've got structure, they're going to sit on this side of it when the current is this way and the bait will naturally flow past in the current and they just wait lazily. Big fish like that. Oh man, another, what, a 15, 20 pounder just come up over there. Wow, let's get back to it. Yeah. That's all we're doing, but that was a, an amazing fish. It was good to be uh, <laughs> with you to get that one, man. Fantastic, fantastic. Thanks for man. lifting that up. My pleasure, I want to do it again. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this edition in Rivers Inlet on Calvert Island. And a look at these detailed bucktailing strategies for Big Chinook. Simply pre-searching and exploring your saltwater fishing locations during extreme low tides finding those key leading point bottom structures and kelp and working either side of the tide push as much like a river as these big fish wait for bait fish to come to them rather than chasing them down and expending energy. The Legacy Experience has been brought to you in part by Sage, Cortland, Islander Precision Fly Reels, Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line.